Only on 7 now, a growing scandal tonight surrounding Doug Gansler, Maryland's attorney general who's running for governor. Gansler admitted to attending a beach party where there was apparent underage drinking going on, but he claims that he was only there briefly. As ABC 7 first broke at 5, two young women who were there at the party are telling a very different story, one of them even saying that Gansler lied to the public. Roz Plater live in our newsroom with new reaction to this exclusive story. Roz. Leon, those two women say there was beer at that party, hard alcohol, even drinking games. Now, the attorney general says he saw none of that, but the women say you couldn't miss it. Two young women who attended that Bethany Beach house party in June tell a very different tale from Maryland Attorney General Doug Gansler, the man who wants to be governor. First, about the underage drinking. I didn't see any, you know, those like sort of drinking in my face. But one party goer told ABC7, quote, everybody was drunk. People were literally pouring beer from the top level onto the floor, and it was just so blatantly obvious. Then Gansler said he was only at the party briefly. I went in, I told my son what time we were leaving in the morning, that I love him, and then I went home. But the other witness said, quote, he was definitely not in and out because I saw him there a significant amount of time. Two separate photos appear to show Gansler taking pictures. He says not. I was actually looking at a text because I'm 50 years old and can't read, so I'm holding it out. But one of the women contradicts that, saying, I saw him walking around taking pictures or videos with his son and being there for the entire time I was there. On WAMU radio today, Gansler's running mate said they're trying to put the controversy behind them and focus on the issues. Doug Gansler's already apologized. He's already said, I made a mistake. And I think that's the first thing anybody has to do is acknowledge you have a problem. Voters we spoke with in Bethesda seem somewhat forgiving. I don't think it would influence my vote, um, but it's a mark. I wouldn't judge somebody by one perhaps lapse in judgment. We need him, but he needs to get his act together. The primary is next June. Tonight, a spokesman for the Gansler campaign told us they would have no further comment. As for those two women who spoke to uh, ABC7, they were both 18 at the time of the party. They told us that, in fact, they had drank a couple of beers, but were not drunk at the time. Live in the newsroom, Ross Plater, ABC7 News. Okay.